Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Alright. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Your boy Harper here. Back at you in another video. Podcast, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just just chilling this morning. Not really doing anything crazy. Just sitting back and just kind of reflecting on <clears throat> some things. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Dealing with some allergies. Like, I made a video yesterday, you know, all hyped up about the Eagles and, and stuff in the Phillies, and I'm like, wait a minute. The My Life Cup just happened. And I was supposed to do, like, a little preview prediction thing, but because there were so many teams, it was kind of hard. But we can do, like, a little uh, tier review, I guess, if you'd like. Um, and that's kind of what I was going to do, just to kind of go over the final standings of the teams. Um, it was a crazy weekend, nonetheless. All tiers went wild. I think tier three, the first game went in overtime. I think the first women's game went in overtime. I think the women's final went to like a triple for four time overtime because they were only doing shootout up until a certain point. You know, it was just basically old school, next goal wins type of deal, you know, gangster shit. But no, it, it was it was a wild week. It was a little wet. It was it was, it was raining almost the whole damn time. There were spots where it was kind of sunny out here and there, but you know, that's how it is at this time of year when the weather changes gets to the rain season. Like, I'd love for there to be some indoor facilities that we can do this too, so it's not so bad. But I mean, it is an outdoor game. We do play outdoors in a way. I know some places do you play inside, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm, my, my, I myself am actually trying. I'm going to actually start the process of finding some place that can help actually get a mini, kind of like actual mini arena. Nothing crazy, but I want to have like a rink, maybe two. I guess it might just be one, which is fine. But I need to get some set up indoors. It's just the weather, it's windy, it's rainy. It's nice for what it is, but it makes it miserable for when you're trying to do something like on wheels or running around. You don't want to hurt, hurt yourself, bust your ankles, your kneecaps. I mean, hell, you fuck up a toe and it'll ruin your day. I mean, <laughs> like, come on, like, it's bad. But no, nah, um, but all in all, it was a great tournament weekend. Congratulations and shout out to all the teams that won. I know I talked a lot of shit, but at the same time, I actually was kind of like pulling for a Seattle team. Um, I believe the Northwest and West Coast did do well. I think West Coast Tier 2 did pretty well for the most part. I don't know exactly how well the Bachelors did per se, but I think they made it pretty far. I can check on that too. But I was really hoping that Seattle was making, was talking a lot of big talk and acting like they somebody. And it's funny because I, I personally was thinking that the Philly division and possibly Boston was going to do well. The Philly team sucked. The Boston team actually did pretty well. The Indiana team actually did pretty well. The Counts did well. So that was a big, that was actually a pretty big surprise, but not really, because I know, um, I mean, hockey's big up in the Northeast. I mean, it's just the kind of area it is. But for Carolina, a division to win it back to back is, uh, is, I could have almost expected that, but I was really hoping that it would be a newer team, if not Seattle, a, a new expansion team, you know, to get a quick, get a nice dub and, Really help kind of change the winning up. See, hang on, I'm sorry. God damn allergies. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was gross. My apologies. Anyways, I gotta take a clear some shit. I just got it about too long ago. I went to the store, grab some of my energy shit, my little juicy juice, man. It's just, it's really, I know I'm in, my, I'm in my kitchen. I normally do my stuff upstairs where like the wall. I'm gonna get a small flag, little backdrop thing. It's just it kind of this is where I do shit. I got some shit I got to take care of. I'm just kind of just getting ready for my day. I kind of just chill down here. I wanted to watch some TV or bump in some music. Just, just doing my thing. Like, get ready for my day. Normally, I have my stuff upstairs. And I'm going to turn that really set up. But I might. I kind of got a small microphone thing going. I kind of got some shit. I'm kind of trying to put all together here. So, like, but right now, I'm on the laptop and stuff. Just kind of just going. I'm just doing whatever. Just free balling it. I don't care. It is what it is. But. Let's get back to what we were trying to talk about now. The team final rankings. Now, again, there was one team that played four games because there was, I guess, uh, a runner-up was allowed to come. So, I guess they had to play a fourth game. Which, honestly, I don't really mind that. I find it a little weird, but I think if there's more, because there's more division screw, that the other teams have to play four games, and it would be kind of messed up to have a bunch of teams that play four, only you know, like the few that play the three, and it was just like, May seem a little lopsided, but you know, it is what it is. They'll figure that out as we go. I mean, this is only the third My Life Cup ever, so. Again, shout out to all the teams that made it. But, anyways, here we go. Here's here's, here's the My Life Cup Tier 3 special standing. So, we have the Riley Squad, who eventually won it all. 
Um, we have the Ro the Red River, uh, Rogoru. Um, the Seattle ended up third place overall. It looks like then Boston, which is crazy because Seattle did both better than both Boston and Philly. When I expected, I expected them to really do that well. Maybe in the, in the I don't know, it's just crazy. Um, the Columbus Counts did well, they're number five. You have the Barrier Burger Boys at six, Savage Ogle Pogos at seven, and then both Philly teams, Delco and Jersey Dinos, the Devils and Dinos at eight and nine. None of those, none of those teams won a game. Though. That's rough, dude. I really thought the Philly teams were going to show out. I really did. Like, let's just talk about that for a second. Hold up. You're telling me both Philadelphia hockey teams, Philly division, didn't win a single game all, all weekend long. I actually thought Seattle was going to struggle against them. That's insane. Like, that's insane. There's two teams from Philadelphia, not either of them combined won a game. I mean, I guess there's an overtime win, but, man, eh, I guess. Hang on, was it an overtime win? Was it 2 0? Was it... Oh, the Duckle Devils had one overtime win. So out of two teams, out of nine games combined, only one overtime win. That's rough. I'm sorry. That is rough. That is rough. I know it's just ball hockey, so I'm not, I'm not, I mean, this is the NHL or anything, I see. But I mean, come on, that's, that's rough. You got a team from Seattle. Clearly, they got a little bit of skill here. Well, not to get past the first round. That at least they won a couple of games. Alright, shut sh sh them. I'm trying to help grow out here in the Northwest. But anyways, yeah. That's just crazy. But let's get to the bracket. Oh, you fuckers. I don't know, but Leaf Blow was a little bit fucked. Let's hope you can still hear me. So in the first the wild card round, we had the Savage of the Pokos and Jarrity Devils. Ogopogos, I think they won that pretty convincingly. I mean, the score seemed, I think the score was close, but they, they, like, they, like, Philly struggled. Philly struggled. What the hell are they doing right now? I think they make a goddamn video. <laughs> I fucking, I, at least they take care of this place, but do they always have the worst fucking time? Like, it's literally 9 fucking 30. People are still sleeping. I'm not, because I have problems, but. Anyways, so we have the Burger Boys. So and then, okay, after that, we have the other one seed in the last seed, the Savage Other Pogos and Rollers Ball. And then we have the Barry Burger Boys, Barry Burger Boys, Rattlers, Devils, Rogoru, Columbus, and the Cold Snacks. And, of course, you had the Red Lake one. What was it? See, they got first rounded too. Like, I was trying to think, I was like, trying to think of Clemson, but I was just watching the game as they were going, because I know they were kind of all over the place. Some of, the, some of these are the first time I'm actually seeing them. Like, so California got first rounded. Seattle got first rounded. They got first. Like, they lost and then they got first rounded. Just dude, just. That's crazy. All the teams I expected to do well didn't do well at all. And it's crazy because all the teams I expected to kind of struggle because they were new. I mean, Columbus counts. A new team made it to the finals. I mean, the Red River Guru. They weren't really a new team. They made it to the semis, though. They were kind of new to Texas, but they're not there. But they kind of were the hot sauce, I think. But all in all, this is this is crazy. I mean, obviously, wow. Dude. Let's just go. Let's check tier two if we can see how California did actually before I head out. I was just just wanted to make a little my thoughts just in general of the minor cup. It was absolutely wild. I'm just curious for how. Okay, so. Oh wow. Okay, Barry Ash. Barry Area Bash actually went went second overall. That's a crazy bracket though. It's like what, 18 teams, bro? Like I said, only two, four, six, eight, ten, four, five, six, I guess so. Oh, 16. Two were extra. That's right. But it was officially a 16 team bracket. That's crazy. Bring up Ashers to beat Butler. Wow. Hold on a second. This is a big bracket. I'm trying to. Let me zoom out a little bit. Hold on. There's a lot going on here. Hold on. The Barrier Bashers beat the A-Town Tropics. Wow, there was, there was a lot of controversy about the Tropics game, too. They beat the... Bantons beat Chimney Fish. And they beat the band. And then we have... Who did they play? Long Island ball hockey team. Oh, so they played both the Long Island teams. Wow. So they beat the one Long Island team, but they lost to the Long Island Sound. They beat the Orlando Mutiny. Okay, wow. Let's see. This dude, this Mono Cup is nuts. 
Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I love it. Absolutely nuts. I was supposed to play this year. It should happen. It is what it is. I'm not crying over too much. I'm actually kind of glad I got to maybe step back and see what happened this year just to see what all the crazy shit. Now that we have all the new team settled, all the expansion settled. Um, there may be a few more. I'm not sure. I saw an interview. There's a couple of divisions that might be here and there. Put up some new teams. I'm not sure. We'll see. I saw there might be a New York division, but well, there's still really no news about that. I mean, that's probably right there with Boston. They probably could have added New York to Boston. Hey, if they want to have their own couple teams for New York, that's fine. That would be cool. Absolutely. I'm not. No, no hate for me. Um, since they got Philly including New Jersey, I guess, it makes sense. Boston could have included New York, but I guess Boston and New York could be their own separate. I mean, there's so many people in those areas, it's pretty, pretty condensed. I'm sure they each have their own couple teams, that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's going to be great. Like, I saw that there might be a Midwest division, which I'm assuming might be Indiana. I was taking notes last year, I was trying to, just trying to figure out, just trying to keep track of everything that's going on. But no, it was a great, great finals for everyone. Congratulations to everyone. God damn, man. Yeah. Hope you can still hear me. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, take it easy, y'all. Fuck, I'm really not looking for Fuck off. Let's see, hang on a second. Are they still just sitting there? Hang on a second. The reason why it's probably a little louder is because we have an AC thing in there and it has they have to obviously have the window open quite a little bit and it's just so loud. I think they finally stepped away. But I know I'm leaving here soon, but anyways, all in all, it was a great tournament. Great vibes. Great casting. The, I don't know, I didn't really pay too much to the officiating, but so far as far as I told the officiating was actually really, really good. Um, I think there was a one team from Canada. Um, shout out to them. I'm not sure how well they did, but all in all, it was it was good. It was fun to watch. It was exciting. Um, so we're getting ready for roller ice now. I mean, well, I guess my is coming up next couple weeks or next week or two. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna try and get into one of those for some sub action. Um, but yeah, no, I, I can't wait for that to start. Can't wait for that to start again. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be great. We can't start watching hockey again. I'll be in the streams too, watching. I'm hoping I can get to one of these tournaments so I can actually kind of show up or show out and kind of help out, help the team on the chip, get myself on a freaking travel team as well. I mean, it's been long enough. I'm still free agent looking forward to teams. So, yeah, man. So anyways, I'm gonna go out of here. Got some shit to take care of before I gotta head out. Take it easy, y'all. Again, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna put the uh the my like uh the ball hockey Discord in the, in the link below. I want everyone. <coughs> so, let's get this to be the biggest, craziest league ever. Like, I want this just to be the most ridiculous freaking thing. Like, I want the championships in my life to kind of like state wars to be almost a whole week long. Maybe a little much, yeah, it might be a little excessive, probably. But, like, yeah, we need this to just blow up after this year. I've been watching the number from YouTube, the Instagram, and just the follow accounts, and it's, it's been growing so much. I know this is my league, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, it makes me excited to see something like this actually become what it's becoming, because, again, this gives people an actual chance to actually be a part of, I mean, this is like a semi-professional league in a way. Yeah, it's not the NHL, but it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's not, I mean, people actually know how to play hockey in a way. Some, eh, you know, but for the most part, they do. It looks like that for the most part, these are actually pretty. I mean, I mean, you're just, you're just like they actually know how to like, know what the fuck they're doing for the most part. It's just not on skates. It looks weird because it's not on skates, but guess what? Who cares? It's still hockey. They're still traveling. They're still winning and trying to play for a national championships. This is a great idea. I think this is fucking awesome. It gives people the chance to actually own it, like basically, almost like own your own franchise in a way. Like. Own your own sports franchise in, in, in like some regard. It's and it's so cool. Like gives people the opportunity to do that. And it's like it could be your fucking team that you take to go win a national championship that you bring home to this place part. You know, the part of the country where you live. And it's like you know, it, it's just cool. The whole just playing your own division thing. I get that. Unfortunately, you really can't. 
I get it, but it's like still just to have just to just having it the way that it is still there's just it's just still amazing. Shout out to you guys. Um, shout out to the National Ball Hockey League in general. Just y'all are fucking amazing. Another successful year. Absolutely, and I can't wait to start playing in this thing. I can't wait to get my own team going. I'm gonna like I said, I'm trying to expand in the Northwest Division. I'd love to get two teams out here to get there and really show how hockey much how, how much hockey's grown. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get an indoor rink that we can use for the weather. I mean, if we have to play more, some of it outside for the most part, so be it. It's just our one rink closed down and pulling the indoor goal. So we're trying to we're struggling, trying to scrap around and, and scrounge around and try to figure something out. I know there's the one rink in Bend, but it's like you have to cross the mountain pass, and it's like it's not always the easiest thing to do. The one other nice rink we can go to is you have to literally like take fucking Lord of the Rings. You have to go mountains of freaking Moria type of shit. It's it's brutal. If you, if you don't know what the three sisters are, looking at beautiful little mountain range, but it's it can be fucking deadly. But that's just it. Um, yeah, we're working on getting a rink here. I'm working on it. I'm gonna get all these final numbers. It's final. I'm gonna try to get some of this. And I'm gonna try to just get try to get something going. Like I said, there's the park being updated. But again, I want to see what happens there. I'm gonna try to keep up on that. And see if we can get a, a roof rink or something. May not be the best, but at least if it's something that would work, it'll work, it'll do. You know, give us something we can actually have roller hockey here and actually get games here and actually try to promote the community here and bring it up. Because I already have plans and teams already reserved. I don't know if I said that and mentioned that in the video before, but I actually have like three or four teams already reserved. Already reserved to get going. Already reserved. It's just... You need to get the foundation for the teams going and then get players for the teams, of course, and get the finances and get them and just get it going. It's just, I have the teams and I have it all already reserved. They're not going nowhere. So we'll see how this goes. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to be out of here with a great tournament. Unfortunate for Seattle. It is what it is. But, you know, shout out to Carolina. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because I'm coming for you. Yeah. Anyways, have a good one, y'all. Take it easy and make sure to like and subscribe. I like this shit. Peace.